Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anup Singh. You are watching Aerotech Advanced YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see the topic that is uh, jet propulsion. And uh, we are going to discuss uh, five main important points related to jet propulsion. So let's start this video. We are going to discuss the five main points related to jet propulsion. The first point that is the definition of jet engine. Second point that is how the Newton's law apply to jet engine or rocket engine. The third point that is key points in the history of jet propulsion. The fourth point is advantages and disadvantages of jet engines. And the last fifth point that is types of jet engines. So guys, these all five points are very important points related to jet engines. First point that is definition of jet engine. So let's see the engine that burns the fuel and use the expanding exhaust gases to turn a turbine or produce the thrust that is called jet engine. The concept of the thrust is based on the principle of Newton's third law and we are already aware about the Newton third law that is every action has equal and opposite reaction. That principle we are using to understand the thrust produced or generated by the aircraft engine. Second point that is the how the Newton's law apply to the jet engine and rocket engine. We are already aware about because of Newton's law the body of aircraft or rocket in rocket is moving in forward direction because of thrust produced by the engine but how we are going to understand with the help of Newton's law. So let's start the Newton's third law. The Newton's third law stated that every action has equal and opposite reaction. We can take the example of uh, there is a spray nozzle on the garden hose. So that is an example that we can understand how the Newton's third law is applicable and how the Newton's third law we are applying in the case of new thrust generation in aircraft engine. So with the help of Newton's third law, we are understanding the thrust production by the aircraft engine. Newton's second law is also very important because with the help of Newton's second law, we are understanding the equation of the thrust that is produced by the aircraft engine. So Newton's second law stated that the force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. The force of the spray nozzle is equal to the mass of the water multiplied by the acceleration of the water when it is come through the nozzle and this is the same principle you can use in the rocket engine and jet engine. Third point that is history of the jet engine. Jet engine invented in the 1930s and invented by the uh, Dr. Hans Ohan and Sir Frank Wittel developed their ideas separately and at the time knew nothing of other works. In history of the jet engine, the Germans were the first to utilize the jet engine as the military tools. The jet powered ME-262 was the first jet powered airplane to see the combat. It has the top speed of 540 miles per hour. If you see for SR-71 Blackbird set the current speed and altitude record for a jet powered flight in 1961. Its top speed is still classified but is in the excess of 2200 miles per hour. So guys let's discuss about the fourth point that is advantages and disadvantages of the jet engine. So first we are going to see the advantages of the jet engine. The first advantage is that it possesses high power to weight ratio. It possesses no any reciprocating parts so it's required less maintenance and it also possesses less parasitic power loss. So what we are finding in the case of positive displacement machine engine. So this is the best advantages of the jet engine. Let's see for the disadvantages of the jet engine. The first point the high speed and high operating temperature make the designing and manufacturing gas turbines complex from both the engineering and material standpoint. And second is that this complexity to lead a higher price. 
and jet engine do not produce the high torque level which is that is why they aren't used in the automobile so this is a disadvantages of the jet engines you can find out fifth point is the types of jet engine so there are six types of jet engines are available if you see the first one is turbo jet engine second one is turbo fan engine third one is turbo soft engine fourth one is turbo prop engine fifth one is pulse jet engine and sixth one is ramjet engine if you see in the figure i given x 15 with the example of ramjet engine so let's see one by one of each of the jet engine but not in depth only for small information of each engine so first turbo jet engine the turbo jet engine produce the thrust by expanding the gases at the exhaust nozzle and but it produce little bit high noise so that's the reason it's a noisy aircraft and it is generally using on high speed aircraft due to its small size so this is a best fitted engine especially you can find out in military aircraft see in the case of turbofan engine the thrust turbofan engine produce the thrust by the expanding the gas as the nozzle exist similar like the turbojet engine but most of the thrust is produced from the larger inlet fan the bypass ratio of a turbofan engine is typically 8 is to 1 and 8 times more than air is bypassed then passes through the compressor and combustion chamber so this is the advantages of turbofan engine because of bypass ratio and also you can find out the turbofan engines uh, it is a more efficient to accelerate a larger mass of air at a lower velocity and if you want it to increase the thrust you will either have to increase the speed of the air being moved or increase the mass of the air being moved that we know the thrust equation that is mass into acceleration that is newton second law due to the principle uh, uh, the turbofan is more efficient than the turbojet and due to the lower velocity turbofan is also sig significantly quieter than the turbojet engine almost all modern commercial aircraft use the turbofan engine like for example passenger aircraft private aircrafts so this is all about turbofan engine let's see for turbo soft engine turbo soft engine exhausting the gas is used to turn the turbine shaft which is then used to propel the vehicle so in the in that way the turbo shaft engine work exhausted gas produce little thrust because most of the energy is used up by the turbine so this is about for turbo shaft engine because of the high speed of the turbo shaft engine gear reduction must be used to obtain the unstable shaft speed much like a transmission in your car and this gear reduction also produce a torque multiplications that is a very advantages let's see for turbo prop engine turbo prop engine is essentially a turbo shaft engine that is attached to a propeller a propeller is more efficient let's see about the pulse jet engine pulse jet engine does not use a compressor or turbine and it does not have the ability to produce the thrust at a lower speed that is less than uh, 100 miles per hour germans use this designs during the world war 2 and in their v1 flying bomb use one way to read valves in the front of the engines to force the exhaust gases out the air of the engine and allow the fresh air in the front this is a mechanisms in the pulse jet engine t4 ramjet engine ramjet engine used for extremely high speed minimum 400 miles per hour it does not contain any moving part a similar like scramjet for example compressor turbines and it's rely on the inertia of the incoming air for compression it is generally you can find out used in sr71 blackbird at supersonic speed so guys that is for all the uh, types of uh, jet engine so thank you guys uh, for watching my videos and i hope so you guys are understand the all the points in uh, jet propulsion so guys whatever i explained in this video that is a very important point related to jet propulsion and uh, i given a overview and some informations of each and every topics what you are going to find out in jet propulsion so guys thank you for watching this video